Today we're going to talk about how characters and setting can impact the plot of a story. So what is plot again? So we've learned the past couple weeks that plot is a series of events that make up a story. So there's many different things um, that go inside of the plot. Today we're going to talk about um, right at the beginning that would start making up the plot for us. So the most important things at the beginning are the characters and the set, right? So the characters are the who of the story, right? And we talk about their traits with them when we talk about characters. And then the setting is where the story takes place. It can also be when the story takes place. Uh, so we're going to look at these two things today. And if we change these two things, well, then how does the story change? Okay. So our first example has um, how characters are really, really important for a story. All right. So if we have um, just kayaks, like right here, okay, if we just have kayaks, then there's nobody doing anything with the kayaks. So that's like a super boring story, right? But if we insert a character doing something with the kayaks, then it makes it more of an exciting story, right? So it, it gives the story some action. So here we have um, how the different, how the characters act, how they would change the story. All right. So if you've ever seen um, the movie Jaws or heard of the movie Jaws, um, it's a, it's a really scary shark, right? And everybody in the town is afraid to get in the water, right? So why are they afraid to get in the water? Well, because throughout the uh, movie, the shark attacks swimmers in the ocean, right? So this is where the ambulance comes in and they're having to come and treat their uh, shark bite, okay? So now we're going to change the character, okay? So if in the movie Jaws, if it wasn't a great white shark, super scary, right? And we changed it into a nice friendly dolphin, well, let's think, how would the story change? Would there be ambulances having to be called? Probably not, right? Um, people would go up to the dolphin, right? So the swimmers, they wouldn't try to swim away from it. If it was friendly, they would try to swim close to it. And so th that would just completely change um, the entire story. So here, this is how a character change, when a character changes again, how the story would change. So we have Lynn here. Um, and it says in the first situation that she spent an hour a night practicing for the concert and then she had a solo. So a solo is when she would perform her instrument in front of an audience by herself, right? And then in the second picture, uh, does it look like Lynn's practicing? No. So it says that she decided to skip practice and call Maggie instead. And they talked for almost two hours. So if she's spending her whole night on the phone, then she's probably not practicing. So then we can think if this, how, how did this character behave differently, right? In the first situation, she's practicing for a whole hour, right? Um, so how do you think she will do during her solo? Probably pretty good, right? But then let's kind of flip it a little bit. Okay, let's imagine that she didn't practice and she spent her hour, her or it says two hours, right? So she spent two hours on the phone with her friend instead of practicing. So hmm, how would that story change? Do you think during her first solo, like she did a great job or maybe she kind of messed up a little bit, right? Because she decided to be on the phone rather than practicing for the concert. Okay, so again, the characters, how are they affecting the story? So if a character seems to be fearless, meaning that they're not scared to do anything, right? So we have um, these characters here who look like they um, are on swings and normally we sit down on swings, right? So they're standing up on the swings. So they appear to us that they're fearless. So they're not scared, right? But what if we had a character who happened to be frightened and not fearless? right? So do you think that the character would get up, up on the swing like these two and swing like that standing up? Probably not. This character would probably sit and watch his friends do that because he's frightened and not fearless. So this is how a character trait for a character changes the story, okay? So if we are dealing with a character who's not scared of anything, then they're going to be doing all these crazy things. But if we 
are um, reading about a character who's scared of some things, then they're probably going to sit out and not do those things that maybe their friends are doing. Okay. Next, we um, so we talked about in the first slide that we uh, are going to talk about how the characters and their character traits, like their actions too, would affect um, how the story goes. And then the second thing we're going to do is talk about the setting. So I've inserted a, a fun video. It's kind of like a song maybe for you to remember um, that talks about how it, we change the setting. If we do that or if a story does that, then the story is going to be completely different. All right. So I've used myself here. So I'm a teacher um, at Success Academy. So while I'm uh, working at Success uh, for so many years, I've became comfortable with the building. Right. And the um, other teachers that work with me and Mr. Fetcher and uh, everybody in the office. Right. I know them. I'm familiar with them. Right. So when I come to work every day, I kind of know what I'm going to be getting into. I know who I'm going to see. I know how my day is going to run. But now we're going to change the setting. OK, so let's say this year, maybe I work at a different school. OK, so rather than being at Success Academy, where I'm confident as a teacher because I know my surroundings and I know the people that I'm with, if I'm at a new school, well, then it's new to me. Everything's new to me. So I um, probably am nervous, right? Especially if it's like my first day. If you guys have ever been a, a student on the first day of, at a new school, then you kind of know how I would feel too. If I was a teacher at a brand new school and I didn't really know anyone and I had a brand new classroom, right? And the hallways were different. I kind of don't know where I'm going, right? So my, my character trait would change from when I'm at Success Academy, I'm probably super confident, right? And um, just really know what's going on. And so like maybe my teaching would be better because I feel that confidence inside of me. Where at my new school, my teaching's not probably as good as it was at Success Academy yet because I, it's new to me and I'm nervous and I'm kind of a little scared, right? So my character trait goes from being super duper confident to nervous, right? Just because of the setting, these two different settings right here change how the character is acting, okay? So that brings us to our first um, uh, assignment that you're gonna do today, okay? So we're gonna remember uh, the story about John Henry, all right? So in our reading groups, we read the story about John Henry and he was super, super strong and he was hammering through mountains and beating machines that uh, everybody thought that the machine would go faster than him. But at the end, John Henry was so big and strong and confident, right? Remember, we talked about that. He was confident. He knew he was going to beat the machine. So he was big and strong. His character traits are big, strong, confident, right? That he beat the machine. So we're going to imagine today that we're going to change it up, right? We're going to change the story of John Henry, and we're going to imagine that his new character trait is weak. So that's the opposite of strong, okay? So we're going to imagine that our guy, John Henry, that we're used to being super strong, is weak now, all right? And then we're going to change his setting. So throughout the story, it didn't appear that it was raining or cold, right? Um, it looked sunny and comfortable for him to be working as hard as he did. Well, now we're going to change up the setting a little bit and make it a little bit harder for John Henry. And we're going to imagine that John Henry's going to have to work in a snowstorm. Okay. So you guys on this slide, you can go ahead and click on this form and fill out your name. Make sure you put down your homeroom. And then there's just one section for you to type your new story about John Henry. All right. So we don't want to talk about what we already know about him, his real story, right? We don't want to talk about how strong he is and he was outside working and he was comfortable and and confident, right? He's no longer any of those things, okay? So um, if he's weak, right, how, how do you think he's feeling now? And how do you think he feels about working in a snowstorm, right, where it's cold and he's probably not comfortable, okay? So you guys are going to take some time today to write a new story. Um, we're going to keep the, keep the character of John Henry but we're just gonna change up his character trait and we're gonna change the setting, okay? So this is gonna show us that changing how the character acts and how the character is and the setting changes the whole story.
Okay. So do your best with that. Um, and then let, let your teacher know if you are uh, needing anything, if you need to go through these slides again, um, to figure out really how the characters changing um, would impact the story, make it different. Uh, you can click on uh, this video and then it talks in here about how changing this setting would change the story. So this is a pretty cool video to watch. So if you wanna uh, watch this video and go through the slides again before you start writing your story, that is perfect. Uh, what we do uh, want you to do today is before, let's try before we go to bed. We always talk about completing all of our assignments for the day before we go to bed. So let's try to do that because tomorrow for morning meeting, when we meet whole group for reading, we're going to pull up these stories that are submitted. And if you want, you can share with the class your new John Henry story. Um, so if you have this done, we're going to pull it up and you will be able to share. So if you don't have this done, then you're not going to have anything to share during our whole group tomorrow on um, Friday. Okay, so let us know if you have any questions. Remember, you're changing his character trait from being strong to weak and changing the setting to a snowstorm. So it's probably a lot more difficult for him. Okay, all right, guys.